Now I'm going to create a, a very simplified five-level work breakdown structure for formula hybrid. We can assume that the project manager has, has completed the process of segmentation on uh, uh, the particular project that's being planned. And this is going to depict the pieces of that segmentation and how they fit together. Level one is simply the formula hybrid competition. I call this level 1.0. And there were four major segments of the competition that have been identified by the project manager. One is design. The other is manufacture. Third is test verification. And the fourth is transport of the vehicle to the competition. And so we can identify these as item 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1.4. Still very general areas of the project. Now, certainly not areas that we can begin to assign resources or plan to. Level three gives us a little bit more information. Under design, we've identified mechanical design, electrical, controls, and systems integration. And we label these accordingly. 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, In similar fashion, the project manager has identified third level tasks for the rest of these areas. For instance, in manufacturing, we have supply chain. We have component fabrication, actual production. We have systems assembly. In the area of test verification, we've identified performance to rules and specs, okay? compliance to the fundamental requirements that are required of the competition. We have performance optimization. And in transport, we have simply package and ship. We have actual shipment. And then we have unpack, inspect, and test. And this can go on and on and on, depending upon the level of detail that the project manager prefers. We'll put the fourth level in here to see how this works. In the area of, of the design element, under mechanical, we have design of the frame, we have design of the brake system, okay. and these are labeled 1.111, 1.112. These labels are important because it helps us consolidate this information and manage it, especially when we manage the budget. And finally, the fifth le level are a series of work packages. Work packages are the specific task needed to do the mechanical design of the frame, or the specific task needed to complete the design of the mechanical design of the brake system. And usually we stop at five or six levels of the work breakdown structure because this will get us the, the individual task that we want to assign. If we need to go beyond six levels, then we might consider essentially breaking this up into a self-contained sub-project and managing it as a sub-project. 
Together, this represents the entire project that the project manager is managing. But also, it helps us do another thing. It helps us allocate budget. Using a process called the top-down process. If we know that we have a certain amount of money we can spend on our project, the project manager can look at this structure and determine, I'm going to, to spend 30% on mechanical design. I'm going to spend 40% on manufacturing, 20% on testing, and the final 10% on transport. So we've essentially imposed the budget on the various tasks. And then looking down, say, in the design, realizing that 30% of the budget's being spent on design, project management might say that 7% is going to be with regard to mechanical design. We're going to have 10% on electrical. We're going to have 5% on controls. And the remaining 8% on systems integration. And we carry that throughout the entire work breakdown structure. When we add up the budgets for each particular item in the structure, we get the total budget of the project. And as we execute the project plan, if we find we're overspending in some areas, that forces the project manager to look at other areas that are either in progress or haven't been started yet and start to remove money from those budgets to compensate for the overrun. Or the all other alternative is to go out and raise more money. The other thing we can do with the work breakdown structure is look at the types of skills we need. Okay. Namely, we need mechanical designers here. We need machinists up at this point. Okay. We need material procurement people up in this area. We need testers up in performance optimization. We need people very familiar with the formula hybrid rules to look at compliance to the rules in this area. And then we need people who are experts in transporting sophisticated pieces of equipment so they're not damaged. So this gives us an, uh, an overview of the types of skills that we need as we're planning the budget. Most importantly, it ensures that we identified all the tasks that need to be completed, and it's a vehicle for us to assign budget to the various tasks, and it's a vehicle that helps us track the budget during project execution.